In this new weight comparison video, I'll be weighing a number of crucial items on your bike which help with sprung mass and unsprung mass reduction. For example, Euro 3, Euro 4 exhaust, old school exhaust, compare them to the Akropovich aftermarket exhaust. Also, lithium battery, compare them to the factory batteries. Titanium front axle spindle, compare that to the OEM normal spindle which you get with your bike. Titanium screws and nuts, compare that to the normal screws and nuts which you get with your bike. Also, 520 chain and sprocket kit, compare that to the factory ones. Brake pads, aftermarket brake pads to the factory ones. Brake discs, aftermarket brake discs, compare them to the factory ones. Also, I've got some aviation grade aluminium parts and also titanium and I want to give you some real crucial information or some real niche stuff so please stay tuned welcome everyone to chasing tents my name is Abby thank you so much for joining me I hope everyone's safe looking after yourself keeping clean and appreciating your local medical staff now guys this is going to be another fantastic weight comparison video why do I say another because last week I weighed a number of wheels cast aluminium wheels, forged aluminium wheels, factory, OZ wheels, diamag wheels, also carbon wheels, ceramic uh, bearing carbon wheels, non-ceramic bearing carbon wheels, and also magnesium wheels. And we got some surprising results. If you haven't seen that episode, please have a uh, look at the link in the description. I'll, I'll also put it at the end of this video. Now, this video is all about sprung and unsprung mass yourself, and also, most importantly, the weight of the bike in terms of a number of crucial items. Why am I making this video? I'm a big advocate of not chasing horsepower, but having manageable weight of yourself, but also your bike, unsprung and sprung. Because if you keep chasing horsepower, that bike is going to be a crazy untamed horse. If you've got manageable horsepower, but low on your weight, you can easily uh, ride the bike on road and on the track, get some great lap times. So stop chasing horsepower. It's all about chasing tents with some great weight reduction from various angles. Now I just want to tell you three quick things before I start weighing everything. Now what am I going to be weighing everything with? Now I've got two scales. One is a digital scale where I can put the item on top of it and it'll tell me the weight in kilograms and pounds, both I'll tell you. And also this hanging weighing digital scale where I can get accurate weight by uh, hanging the item and I'll give you that in pounds and kilos as well. Also, I've got a very strong magnet. Now, if you've seen the previous episode, you'll know how this magnet exploded on my face. And it's a, it's a funny blooper. You've got to watch the, the previous week's video. Anyways, this strong magnet will tell me if uh, a certain part is pure aluminium or pure titanium or it's a normal steel. So it's going to be very handy. And also, I'm going to be using my trusted Go Go uh, GoPro Hero 4 to show you the actual weight so you can see that in kilograms and pounds. Now let's start with the first item. According to me, biggest culprit, one of the biggest culprit is the battery and one of the easiest ways to lose weight on the bike. This is a Yuasa battery from an Aprilia RSV4 RF 2015-2016. So quite a modern bike. Now this is a very common brand. A lot of people use this battery as an aftermarket battery as well. Once their current battery goes, they'll just buy one of these. Let me surprise you how heavy this is. So let's put this on the scale. This is 3.4 kilograms. Let me just put the GoPro. 3.4 kilograms. And that is 7 pounds 9 ounces. And let me put the lightweight GMT battery. You can use Shido, you can use GMT. There's a number of companies doing lithium batteries. Uh, some of them you can't trickle charge all the time. Some uh, you can. So that's a top tip. So let's change the unit back to kilos first. So that's, well, forget about kilos, this is 800 grams, 801 uh, in pounds, 1 pound 12 ounces. The proof is in the pudding, guys. That is 3 point, what, th nearly 3, well, 3.5 kilos to 800 grams. Straight away, massive weight reduction. Now, let's look at the second part, which is the exhaust. The first exhaust is going to be from an Aprilia RSV4 RF 2015-2016 limited edition. This is a Euro 3 exhaust. I've got this exhaust in my hand. You've got to bear with me here because it's very tricky to weigh these exhausts. And actually, you know what? Let's do the magnet test to see what's it made of. Aluminium. 
Aluminium, aluminium. Aluminium, everything's aluminium. All right, let's do the cat, the dreaded cat. There you go. Definitely, definitely not aluminium. This is a strong magnet. Definitely not aluminium. All right, let's wait now before we wasting too much time. I might make a few cuts in this video to not waste too much of your time so I can quickly hang it and show you the weights. It is about 3.43 kilograms, so just under three and a half kilos. Ah, let's do the pounds as well. Uh, 7.56 pounds, hope you got that. The next exhaust is from a Yamaha 2015 R1. Now guys, as you can see, this is a big boy. Um, it's pretty heavy. So let's do the magnet test first. So this is my very strong magnet. So the, the exhaust actually is two piece. So this part I think goes here. Um, and then obviously you've got your exhaust flapper valves based inside your catalytic converter, which is huge. It's unbelievable. It's like a car. All right, magnet test. Here goes nothing. Flipping heck. All right, so that. So that is all, that is, oh, even the pipes, even the pipes are steel. Ah, oh, this is, this aluminium from here. So from here on, it's aluminium. Everything else is solid steel. Pretty big piece as well. All right, let's wait now. Uh, you know what, I can't even see. 5.8, 5 5 5.89 kilograms, my God. Wow. And pounds, 12.99 pounds. Phew, just under six kilos. Just under six kilos. That's cat alone. Now let's do the, uh, the slip-on-ish bit. R1 2015 slip-on part is 1.55 kilos, which is 3.42 kilograms. Phew, that was a tough one. So the Yamaha R1 exhaust is super heavy all right the next one is going to be aprilia tuono slash aprilia rsv4 2017 onwards exhaust so this is euro 4 category now and look at this bad boy compared to this one i mean that was the euro 3 that's the euro 4 and you know what i can feel it it's massively different so different so let's quickly do the magnet test all right let's so this is the aluminium 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 Aluminium, aluminium, pipes, aluminium at the back. All right, let's do the back if I can. <laughs> aluminium, aluminium, aluminium. Ah, here you go. The exhaust valve, uh, the flapper valve, they're called, of the 2017 onwards Aprilia's is actually in the exhaust. Uh, so when you take the exhaust, you can, you know, kind of take the valve out. The 2015, 2016, and before that is actually not in the exhaust. It's uh, just at the end of the headers. So that's one thing to note. Again, yeah, two. So, the main cap part is still this. So even with the Euro 4, I don't know what Aprilia Italians are doing. They're doing something and uh, getting away by not having a huge um, exhaust. So let's wait. Okay, now we're getting heavy. Six point, you can say 6.2, 6.19, and 13.65 uh, pounds. Flipping egg is heavy. Whew. 13.65 pounds. Heavy, heavy things these are. Now this next exhaust is a bit of a unique one. So this is from an old school bike, a 1995 Triumph Daytona Super 3. I mentioned the word Super 3 because these were the rare Cosworth tuned engine bikes. Uh, a lot of uh, carbon was there, front carbon, back was carbon, uh, mud guards and, and chain covers and, and rear mud guards and fenders. Uh, Americans love to call them fenders. The, uh, the bike has got um, uh, two of these exhausts uh, at the back and this is so heavy. It's got carbon covers. So this is what I wanted to show you. So let's have a, do a quick magnet test. Magnet, sticking, 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 <laughs> sticking, sticking. Oh, not sticking. The tip is aluminium. Fantastic. So yeah, so now this the this thing weighs. Oh my god. I can't even I can't hang it, so I've got to do it this way. Let me see if I can. Five point five point say five kilos. Eleven pounds. So five kilos and it's eleven pounds. 
I just wanted to show an example that even old school bikes, imagine two of these, the Triumph Daytona comes with two of these. So two of these at the back is like 10 kilos straight away. And that's not even the full exhaust, that's just um, the, the back end, the kind of uh, slip-ons. All right, let's move to the Akrobovich now and see how much weight savings you can make by getting rid of your factory exhaust and having the, uh, the Akrobovich aftermarket exhaust. So after weighing the heavy weights, it's time to weigh the aftermarket a Kropovich exhaust, which is titanium. I've got the baffle in there. Let's do the magnet test first. Fantastic. Even the baffle is titanium. Great, fantastic. Not sticking anywhere. Ah, sticks to the screw of the clamp. Even the clamp is maybe aluminium. Can't be titanium. All right, so let's weigh this bad boy. That, and I'm gonna put this one there just to support it. I'm just gonna have my, I'm just gonna do that. I'm not touching it. This is two kilos. Two point, ah, wow, 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 wow. Two point, yeah, it's, it's, it's just two kilos. Let me put the GoPro in. Yeah, two zero. Yeah, just slightly over two kilos. Let's change the unit. Four pounds, seven ounces. So guys, the proof is in the pudding. Look at the weight difference. It's absolutely staggering. The weight difference of the battery, the weight difference in these exhausts. I know it was a bit long, but I had to do it. You know, if you don't do it, who else is going to do it? Let's now move on to titanium nuts and screws. These are from your front disc brakes, two of them back disc brake and also the sprocket nuts. So let's do the, the ones you get from the factory. So there you go. Sticks to the magnet like anything. Sticks to the magnet. Let's see how heavy they are. Let's do kilos, kilos. Two hundred and forty-four grams. That is eight ounce, eight point six ounces. All right. Let's now do the titanium ones. Magnet test. Doesn't stick anywhere. Put the. Uh, let's change the unit to grams first or kilos. All right. Hundred grams. Ninety-nine grams. Ninety-nine grams. 3.5 ounces see the difference It's more than double now you might think you know what it's only you know 144 odd grams 150 grams but it's all unsprung mass and you know what i'm such a big advocate of unsprung mass and now let's move on to titanium axle spindle not many people have come across this but i have so let's do the the one which you normally get with your bike so this is from Aprilia RS34 RF 2015-2016 uh, magnet test Whoa, there you go sticks now let's change the unit to grams let's put it on there uh, don't fall please don't fall straight straight 338 grams which is well 340 grams you can say and that is 12 ounces round figure love it Okay, let's do this one. Oh, it's sticking, magnet sticking again. All right, stay. All right, titanium one. Magnet. Doesn't stick. All right, grams. 188 grams, which is 6.6 .6 ounces. So, weight saving. Now, let's move on to something quite unusual, brake pads. Now, you might think, why is he doing brake pads? They don't move. But as a curiosity thing, so many people are curious what weighs, how much, and what doesn't weigh. So let's do OEM brake pads. So OEM Aprilia RSV4 RF brake pads from an M4 slash M50 caliper. So let's have a look. You want me to do a magnet test? All right, let's do grams. 
443 grams 15.5 ounces let's quickly do Z04 pads Brembo Z04 pads which are quite uh, brand new they are it's in pa packaging is very light so I'm not going to take the packaging off it's very very light all right they're actually heavier 5.28 grams just over half a kilo and that's one pound two ounces all right another pad set I've got is which is also very commonly used is the EBC GP fax GP FAX pads so another packaging it's in the packaging magnet sticks let's do it back to grams just under half a kilo so slightly lighter than zero four pads one pound one ounce now I, I didn't really need to do this who, who does brake pads but I thought everyone's curious how much something weighs so I thought I'll do that as well now let's move on to the chain and sprocket kits 520 versus say 525 and 530 so this is let's do you know what my hands are gonna get black I'm not looking forward to this all right okay so let's do the uh, okay let's do the rear sprocket of factory Aprilia RSV4 RF 2015 2016 I believe this is a 530 yes it is so let's quickly wait okay so the rear sprocket weighs 0.67 kilos so just over half a kilo which is 1.48 pounds now let's measure a 520 lightweight sprocket from Talon so that was 41 teeth this is 43 teeth if anyone's bothered um, ah by the way forgot the magnet test aluminium doesn't stick at all bang look at that sprocket sticks to the magnet like anything and my hands are black now again anyways so magnet doesn't stick let's put the magnet away let's quickly weigh this talon 43 teeth so this is 0.29 kilograms 0.64 pounds so half half I think uh, the weight of the the original all right let's do the front one front sprocket is 290 grams and the front 520 sprocket is somewhere I can't find so I've spent half a day looking for it I've got it somewhere it was brand new I've got this packaging there but I don't know where I kept it however I've had a friend who's actually weighed it for me it's 150 grams lighter so basically half the weight so of the of the 530 uh original sprocket which you get with the bike let's move on to chains so this is a tsubaki so so the reason i've covered it because it's full of grease and i i don't want to get my hands sticky so this packaging is to tsubaki chain which is a racing series chain sealed tx4 uh ring gold chain so the the actual chain which should be in there is actually here and this has the the factory chain in it so uh, this is the factory OEM chain I'm gonna weigh let's put it here 2.27 2.2 kilograms which is 5 pounds and 0.5 ounces okay so that's 2.2 and let's do the Tsubaki let's move it back to grams so we got it we got things right I'm just gonna control it well I'm just holding it slightly 1.6 kilograms 3 pounds 3.1 3 3.1 3 no 3 pounds 11 ounces so yeah so that's again a weight saving you can actually gain uh, up to 1.5 to 1.7 kilos of uh, depending on what kind of material you choose I mean this is a very very lightweight uh, um, aluminium material but you know you've got carbon you've got carbon uh, what do you call it um, uh, carbon uh, sprockets now uh, I think they're about five six hundred pounds so I've not tested one 
Uh, one another thing I really wanted to show you is even the sprocket carrier. So this is uh, a sprocket carrier, black hands, uh, and a, uh, a 525 sprocket, Talon again, so very lightweight. However, the sprocket carrier with the, the kind of um, uh, the bearing is still very heavy. So you can have ceramic bearing with titanium sprocket carriers these days and kind of carbon sprockets. Imagine how light will that be? I'm not that anal, but you know, I thought I'll show you everything anyway. So you can still gain um, a lot of advantage with the unsprung mass by doing 520 uh, sprocket chain conversion. I've actually made a full video on it. I'll put it in the description. All right, let's move on to discs. Now these are factory discs. So quick magnet, magnet sticks to the outer, magnet doesn't stick to the inner. Now a lot of touring guys, just a quick one, some sprockets, you can, if you want your sprocket to last longer, you can have a sprocket which is steel from outside, just like your disc brake, and aluminium from inside. So, but for the race guys like me, like the track guys, full aluminium, or one day maybe carbon, uh, if it's tested. All right, let's quickly weigh, these are factory um, disc brakes. All right, factory, Aprilia RSV4 RF, 2.4 is fluctuating 2.4 kilograms and pounds is five pounds and five or well, six ounces all right so that was this is made in Italy uh, Grimeca uh, discs uh, of Aprilia RSV4 RF now um, I've chosen Brembo ORO discs to weigh because these are quite common a lot of people use these as aftermarket discs whoa straight away 3.2 3.1, 3.2 kilos. So yeah, about half a kilo heavier. Seven pounds, one ounce. Seven. Uh, 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 stay straight. Seven point four actually. Seven pounds. It's fluctuating between two and four ounces because obviously it's 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 moving. But that is. Yeah, so the Brembo discs are actually heavier than your factory ones. So, you know what? Give and take, give and take. All right, what else? I had something very special. Now, when I weighed the titanium bits, one thing I deliberately did not weigh was my titanium wheel nut. Now, this wheel nut, my goodness me, wow. It is so light. Let's just weigh it for the sake of it, okay? All right, this is... 17 grams, 18 grams, 0.6 of an ounce. So yeah, 18 grams, 17 grams. Now you will want me to weigh the factory axle wheel nut. Now I'm not going to do that because I've got something clever. What I've got here is Melotti Racing's uh, axle, front axle and rear axle protection. Now why am I showing you this rather than just a normal uh, wheel axle nut? Because You've got RNG protection, those big rubbery bobbiny things. Now they, compared to these, are quite heavy. Now this is made of airline uh, quality, aircraft quality aluminium, very strong. I think it's called Ergil uh, aluminium. Now, and this is titanium. There is not much difference. Let me, let, let's just weigh this one. Let's just this, weigh this one for curiosity. So that was about 17 grams. This one, 35 grams, so double. Okay, sorry to put this clip out of nowhere in this video, but I really wanted to show that RNG uh, axle protection I was on about. So this was my original RNG protection in 2018. And in my first crash, uh, you could see this part got uh, kind of rubbed off from the tarmac. So in my second crash, unfortunately, in 2019, uh, it, the bike was on the tarmac for such a long time that this was completely shaved off. And my f lower part of the Olin's uh, uh, the fork uh, was damaged and I, and I had to buy a new one that was about 95 euros anyways so um, it's not really I mean RNG is a fantastic company the crash was just too big and it was the bike was just on the tarmac for such a long time that it couldn't cope and that's why I was showing you that Melotti part which is made of that special aluminium which should uh, really um, uh, do much a better job in a crash now just quickly let's weigh this as well uh, and we can compare it to the Malotti unit uh, so you know how much this weighs and what you gotta remember is uh, when we weigh this um, uh, you've got to put the axle nut on top of this the Malotti unit uh, the crash protection 
for the front and the rear axle, the actual wheel nut or the axle nut uh, for the spindle is actually based in that protection unit. I hope that makes sense. So it actually doesn't weigh that much. Uh, it's only 0.31 uh, kilos, which is about um, 0.68 pounds. However, it is heavier uh, than the uh, Malotti uh, unit. And on top of that, you got to put your, uh, you got to put your, uh, the axle nut as well. Now, this is made of very strong aluminium, uh, Ergol aluminium, and now hopefully this will be absolutely fine. But this does two jobs. So this has the wheel nut built in. So you don't need a, a separate one. I just wanted to show you something really different. So I thought I'll just, I'll just use this. So I hope you found this video interesting, guys. Now, some of the parts you might think, you know what, why did he weigh discs? Why did he weigh brake pads? You know what, we all curious, but we never get time to weigh stuff. We never get, uh, it's a bit, bit of an effort to weigh stuff. My, I had a crash last year, I'm rebuilding my bike, so as I'm moving parts and getting some other parts from other great friends. Last point, that over suspension device, which I made a fantastic video, which you guys really loved, I said on that video it feels about one kilos and I was so wrong. Hence I always use weighing scales and not my own arms or wrists or uh, um, palms to weigh things. I said it's about a kilo. It was only 414 grams. So that was the over suspension device which helps with high sides and if you want to, if you want to see what that uh, device is check out the description. It's, it's quite an interesting device. So guys I hope you liked this video. Take care. Please do subscribe to the channel if you like my work. A lot of effort goes into these videos and uh, you know I just hope uh, you like it. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye. Stay safe.